they're really the ones, like all clinic projects, who brought this to us and said, you know, we've heard Xenon helps your brain, can you build us something that makes that happen? You know, and they pointed us towards some literature, and that's really where we started. So this was a very open-ended project that we had to narrow down ourselves. They've tried to use Xenon as anesthesia, and the problem with Xenon as an anesthesia is that it's very expensive, and there's traditional anesthetics that are much more cost-effective. They found Xenon actually serves as a neuroprotectant, which is a relatively new discovery. And that means that during or following brain trauma, the actual brain damage that's a result of it actually propagates slower than you might think. If you breathe in Xenon, it slows that damage propagation. So if your body's saturated with Xenon within a certain time of your injury, you can actually limit the brain damage to the body. And so one might ask, well, why don't you just use Xenon and Oxygen and let the Xenon and Oxygen go back into the air? But if that were the case, then a single surgery of four hours would cost over $22,000. And that's because Xenon is so expensive. That's why we've created a closed circuit that recycles the Xenon. And that you can capture the Xenon, but then there's problems associated with that, such as you have to remove the CO2 that the patient uh, breathes out, and you have to give the patient more oxygen to breathe in. And from that information, we've developed um, software which we're working on which will tell the system, tell the valves, when to add gas and how much to add. Make sure the USB dock and all of that has to be in here. Oh, and right. then hopefully so, just like one wire of USB comes out to the computer. This would be used in an application like um, a helicopter or an ambulance, something where you can get this technology quickly to the person who's injured. Uh, because the quicker you get it to the patient, the more of an effect it'll have, the more damage it'll limit. The, more, the higher the chance it'll be that it'll actually save someone's life or save someone's brain. For us, the, the nice thing about the clinic program as a whole is that it really allows us to kind of fairly inexpensively experiment with new ways, new ideas. Um, you know, we read something in the, the peer-reviewed literature and say, hey, we could build something that would accomplish what these researchers are saying might be a good idea. And the clinic team is a really good idea, a good way to test that out and get it to a, at least a first level where then we can say, yeah, that's promising enough and then let's go and pursue it further.